I spoke about Monday on the broadcast, uh, the burden that God has placed upon my heart because of my great concern for young people and their lack of knowledge of the Word of God. And the burden that God has laid on my heart is to have a way that we can bring them into a place of study to learn God's Word. And uh, I have people that, when I share this with them, some people say, well, Pastor King, what can I do to help you? And uh, some have. Some have uh, uh, donated financially to be able to help me to prepare the materials that we're going to make available, uh, hopefully, all across the world through the power of this radio broadcast. But uh, right now, I would just say, pray, pray. Pray for for the work. Pray for me as, as a, a person that God has laid this burden on my heart. Pray for my wife, Tammy, because she needs to be uh, the support that, that she is. But sometimes uh, she needs to be, able to be able to just hear from God herself. Because you see, it's difficult a lot of times for the spouse because they're not the ones with a call. If you ask my wife, what is what is her calling in life? She said, well, God's called me to be Pastor King's wife and my helpmeet, and she is, and she's, she's, she's tremendous, and I love her dearly. So pray for her. Pray for my children, and uh, pray that God would just open the doors because uh, what I believe in God for, that there will be young people who will respond to this, even though I, I'm, I'm up in age now. And you say, well, Pastor King, uh, what, what is it that's going to draw young people to you? And I'm saying it's going to be the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to do this. The Holy Spirit's going to, to help prepare these materials. The Holy Spirit is going to be the one that's going to draw people to uh, this website or whatever it is that, that we're going to be using to bring the Word of God to a generation that God would allow me to be instrumental in bringing up these, the school of the prophets, young, young men and, and young women who hear the word of God, learn how to flow through the word of God and uh, speak, speak forth the word of God. I, I, I think about these uh, uh, characters that we find in the, in the, in the book of Revelation in the, in the last days and how bold they were to speak the word of God. They were not afraid. And, uh, and of course, we, we have this uh, pattern that's set by Elijah. Interesting enough, in the New Testament, they refer to John the Baptist as being the spirit of Elijah because he had that same spirit. He wasn't afraid of the king. He would speak to the king as a king would go by in his chariot. He'd be up on the side of the, of the hill and he'd be preaching. He'd be saying, that woman that you're married to, that's not your wife. I mean, he was saying loud and bold because he was full of the Holy Spirit. The scripture says that John had been baptized with the Holy Spirit when he was still in his mother's womb. And uh, he grew up knowing how to flow through the power of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And that's what we're believing that God is going to allow us to be instrumental and in, uh, raise up a generation that knows how to hear from God and be obedient to what God's word is as it is brought across the world. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.